Welcome to this episode of YouTube. It's just another day in June here. We have had a lot of moisture and precip. That doesn't prevent us from brushing out the wolves and uh, we are in the process of trying to remove some of that hair and uh, keeping the pond filled so that uh, when we do get some warm weather they're ready to cool themselves off and this is the east side pond. Uh, we did get a weight on Luna today and she's uh, down to 105 pounds so the heaviest that she weighed shortly after this uh, grizzer transformation here was about 111 and our goal is to get another 10 pounds off of her by the time winter approaches. Grizzer on the other hand is um, up a little bit. He is up to 118 pounds so we had uh, been managing him at about 115 and gained a few pounds. He's eating every day so we modified the feeding schedule to accommodate Grizzer and to reduce Luna's consumption and I think I wrote about that in the wolf log so you can kind of follow that if you want to look at her weight patterns and where she's at but uh, like I said we're getting a lot of that hair off and getting a really good look at their body you really can't get a sense of what's going on there until you get rid of that undercoat so she's uh, getting uh, staff greetings every day and really taking advantage of that she's very mobile a lot of vegetation in this back habitat so that's one thing uh, Again, with Luna working on her diet, working on uh, her interactions with staff and uh, getting Grizzer daily meals while getting Luna, um, getting Luna back down to a twice a week feeding regime like she would be if she were in the exhibit pack. So like I said, Grizzer has uh, really gotten a lot more comfortable uh, with having behind the scenes programs. Uh, we just started the behind the scenes here in the middle of June and uh, he's very relaxed and very uh, willing to stick around uh, towards the front of the exhibit when we have people behind the scenes and sleeping a lot closer to Luna, sharing a lot of similar spaces, uh, not nearly as much guarding and possessing, although we do let them both have a larger carcass on Saturday nights where we lock Grizzer off in the east side, and that's this den right in here. So the east side uh, habitat is where Grizzer, actually it, it depends, sometimes Luna's back there, sometimes Grizzer, but allows them to have a larger carcass so that they have again that sense of uh, all the things behaviorally that come with feeding on a larger carcass um, maybe even caching it a little bit and then we check to see the status of that cache and uh, how much food resources are available on Sunday and then we let them back together so that's kind of that pattern of activity over in the exhibit pack bolts is far from over in a shed you can see here just the top of his back has started to shed he's a little bit different in that he doesn't really allow much brushing he's a little bit shy of handler interactions um, the arctics on the other hand not only have they shed out their winter coat but they're growing next season's winter coat already so that's Grayson laying there so that little bit of a hair loss from that pine pitch that was stuck on his hide it took a lot of hair off and so that undercoat is and guard hairs are going to take a little while to grow but uh, they're interacting um, pretty well. Denali has a little bit more hair than probably any of the wolves here. Uh, you are seeing a very, very thick winter coat. So just to show you what we do when we brush, we're trying to get that undercoat out and cool them off a little bit. And actually Denali is looking a little bit darker because of that undercoat. So like I said, Bolts is not allowing us to do much brushing. Um, so that uh, means that he's got a little bit um, of that more shaggy appearance and we fortunately have a lot of vegetation so he can crawl around in the thick brush and get hair caught up on branches the way that a wild wolf would in order to get rid of that hair so uh, he's uh, going up in the woods quite a bit he's still a little bit phobic about bees and flies and things but you know it seems like we've had a rainy stretch here of, of rainy and cool weather and so we have not had much for insects and actually nobody's um, had uh, even any fly ointment applied to their ears so that's a little unusual for us going into July without having that so again that there is Axel. Axel still has a little bit of that golden coloration so Aiden is, again is uh, recovering well from the removal of that mast cell tumor uh, he is uh, being checked uh, every day uh, from the standpoint of how that is healing you can still see that suture mark is still there it actually is still open uh, because he does groom that quite a bit uh, but there's no sign of infection and he's really um, starting to see hair grow up around it the shave marks are are filling in so he's doing pretty well with it and like I said the yearlings are they're on their way back to winter so we just had the 
longest day of the year on June 20th, the solstice, and now, um, as I said, the pattern is to revert back to getting a winter coat, and so we'll probably see them fill out and get that undercoat filled in by late July, and uh, we haven't even seen Denali finish shedding it or bolts. So that's kind of what's going on. So a lot of hands-on activity. Uh, we just did another kind of bodywork uh, training session with Luna, um, as well as the rest of the pack. So we're doing a lot of hands-on work with them. Uh, you know, always investigating for things like pitch. And you see a Axel's got a little bit of pine pitch uh, on that left eye. Uh, it happens. This is the time of the year for trees sap to run and for yearlings to get involved with it. So typically, again, the wolves are the highlight of the, of the exhibit. And uh, we are working hard on a noon enrichment, trying to get them down with a lot of special treats uh, to uh, be able to see the public. So that's it for this week and hope to have uh, some enrichment shots in the next coming weeks uh, that have been shared with us by our Pups at One Year folks. So thanks for watching.